Radio Raheem with Savannah Marshall. O2 Arena tomorrow night or Saturday night. Knowing the magnitude of an event like this in your home country, how much does this mean to you as a part of your career and the legacy that you intend to leave behind in the sport of boxing? It's massive. It's absolutely huge. This is this is the biggest fight out there for me, and um, biggest fight in my career, um, and nothing will ever top this. Uh, I think it's fair to say that. Clarissa Shields maybe has a bigger name recognition in the sport, would be a bigger global star, but she's come to your backyard to face you. Do you feel like that's an advantage to you, and what do you think has brought her here? She's come here because she can't sell a ticket in the U.S. That's the reason why she's here. No other reason. As far as the bad blood between you, it harkens back to 10 years ago. At the time, you guys... I didn't seem to be uh, mortal enemies or, or rivals in that way. What's transpired in the last 10 years that has made this rivalry so bitter? Hey, it, all, it all boils down to she's that, you know, she's got that one loss and it's to me. Um, we've never crossed paths again. It's went on for this long and now we are going to on Saturday. And this, it's, it's just been, like I said, it's just as times went on, you know, the comments, our personality clashes, it's all just added putting in the mix to this massive monster fight. Uh, knockouts are hard to come by at a high level of boxing, male or female, but in female boxing, the two minute rounds, it's even more difficult. Do you feel like you can be the first, not only to beat Clarissa as a pro, but to stop her? Maybe. Um, there's no reason why I can't. Uh, yeah. And, and, and lastly, being that this might be the last time you guys face off in a ring until you see her in the ring on Saturday, what's the message you want to send to her today? See you on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> see a lot of bad blood going into this fight. You come in, obviously, 10 ounce gloves, the power that she would have never felt before in a professional ring. Do you believe in those opening rounds where people are saying it might be a little bit more cagey, that you'll be able to show what that power is really about? Um, I think I've got the, just a 10 round fight, so what I can do for 10 rounds. Uh, I do think she'll, she'll, I do think she's going to fly at me, yeah. Um, I think she's going to try and take them early rounds. That's what I'm trying for. Obviously, you don't want to look past it, but what else is there? Obviously, we know we've got an undisputed champion at 168 year old division as well. Um, it's all, yeah, I couldn't go down. I'm at, I'm at my limit of my weight, so it's nowhere I'll make so well. So, the only thing for me to do is, is go up. There's no one else left at my weight. So, do you know if Chris is a rematch? It's a rematch. So, do you think she's underestimating your boxing ability? Like, because everyone talks about your power. Do you feel you get the respect for how good a boxer you actually are? I've been asked that a couple of times this week. Um, she's not stupid. I think she just says things to try and get a reaction. Um, and if she is just underestimating me, then you know, it's, it's, it's on her. She said anything at all in the build up to this that has got under your skin or annoyed you or really sort of pissed you off in the middle. The only thing that's got that hasn't got on my skin is she's mentioned she's mentioned race a couple of times. Um, which for me race shouldn't be mentioned in colour. Uh, sorry, in um, race shouldn't be mentioned in spot. And I think sometimes I thought I'm not really going to be about across the line. So that's probably the only thing. Um, do you think after this fight, obviously you'll believe you'll get this victory, and then you'll shake hands and other than that, you'll share niceties with her? Do you know what I'm saying? It's a big moment for boxing, it's historic. I would, yeah, I'd be quite happy to shake her hand and wish her well, but I feel like she'd probably put out my eyes out. But I just want to come in. Um, said about you know you've been getting noticed in public and stuff like that um, how do you kind of deal with that is that something that you you'd rather not happen or you know do you just kind of accept the love for the fans oh no it's, it's, it's great the fact that people come to me and take time out of their lives and 
What does training with someone like you know like Peter, who's kind of all against the fame and bits and glamour, is that someone that kind of keep, that good to keep you grounded? Yeah, 100%. I don't mind. That's probably more mine. That's probably more me. That's probably why we went quite well. Something she said quite a lot in the middle of you've not bought anyone to leave. Where you actually share it from quite a few times. Why do you feel like she, she's bringing that up uh, a lot when you actually kind of bought similar people? Because she probably wants to say. And the reality of it is. The high waist, the pool is very shallow. I mean, who's she going to say? I'm not going to say that I'm going to give you. I'm not going to say that I have a face. I'm going to have a social space. It's probably on the same way to all the others. Finally, we've been asked, but we've never seen you know, being on camera. And you're at the top of the world. I've boxed at the O2 three years ago last week and I was on about eight o'clock. I was the only female on the cards. Three years ago on top of the Radio, oh, Radio Rahe with Savannah Marshall. Good luck Saturday night at the O2 Arena.